We're going to talk about how to create functions in R, super useful, easier to do than you think. So let's jump right in. On this YouTube channel, we're creating R programming videos on everything. So I'm going to start by creating a basic function and then I'm going to walk you through the details of it. I'm going to call it add numbers and I'm going to say it's a function and it's going to have two arguments, X and Y. And then I'm going to open up a little curly brackets. Uh, and I'm going to say x plus y, and that's my function. Right, boom shakalaka, I've created a function. Let me show you how it works. I can simply say add numbers, and I can put in a 5 and a 6 and push control enter, and boom shakalaka, I've got 11. I'm going to talk you through this very basic example, and then we're going to get into the slightly more complicated stuff, but none of it is difficult. Let's keep going. Now, in the first instance, your function has to have a name. It can be anything you like, and I've called it add numbers, and I'm assigning to that uh, a function, and so I use the word function to say I'm creating a function. And the first thing that we have is inside the parenthesis what the arguments will be. In other words, when a person calls the function, whenever you call, use a function in R, you open up brackets and you put in some arguments. In this case, they're going to be numbers and I'm saying that they're going to be X and Y. They could be anything. You can call them whatever you want. You close brackets. Thereafter, you've got these curly brackets which open and close. So they open over here, they close over here. And in between them, you tell R what to do with those arguments. And then when you then basically it creates that function. And when I then use that function, okay, I open up brackets, I put in the arguments, close the brackets, run the function, and it then and it takes the operations that I've described between the curly brackets. Okay, reasonably straightforward, nothing too complicated, but let's look at some of the more exciting things that you can do with functions. Uh, stick with me. <laughs> Boom shakalaka. Now to get into the nuts and bolts of creating functions in R, I've created this web page and I'm going to at the end of the video tell you how you can access this web page for free and you can look at everything that's on it and it's quite nice. It's got some explanatory notes but here's where it's useful. is because I've got the code and the outputs of the code and I've kind of built it up in terms of just steps. So we've got sort of the basic function, default parameters, uh, flexible arguments, data processing, and conditional logics. None of this is difficult. All of it is simple. I'm going to walk you through all of this right now. So the first example is the one that we did in our studio, adding numbers, boom shakalaka, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Let's keep going. Oh, and by the way, if you go to this web page and you hover over any of the numbers on the right-hand side, uh, these are annotations that will describe what's happening in the code at that point. The next thing that I want you to learn is when you create your arguments for your function, in this case x and y, you could put in a default value, right? So let's just talk through the function that I've created over here. The function is called hello. What the function is gonna do is it's gonna paste together some text. It's gonna start with y, then x, and separate them with a little space, okay? Now, what are the arguments in this function? Well, we've defined them up here. We've said the functions are x, y, and for y, we've stated that it's equal to hello there. Now. When we run this, as you can see, we've said we just write in the function and we put in the, the, the first argument that you put in will be the first argument that is described in the function. And I've said Greg and the output is, hey there, Greg, right? So the hey there is the Y argument and then it's put it in and put a space and put my name. It's pretty straightforward. I want you to know that if you put in a default value, R will use that default value unless the user puts something else. So if I would put in to this argument, hello, and then put Greg, and then put comma, and put in an, another value called yo, okay, because the second value that I would be putting in, I would assume was, was now the, the y value, it would then put an output that said yo Greg. Okay, so you can put a default value in, R will suck that into the function, or the user may override the default value and put something else in. So this is useful. These little three dots here, you know, the first argument in this function, and we're calling this function string, the first argument we've just put in three dots, and that means that the user can put in any number of values and it will accept all of them. And then the second argument I've called x, and I've said that that's equal to a space. The function, that, what the function's gonna do is it's gonna paste together everything that is in the three dots, and it could be any number of values, and then it's gonna separate them and you, by using x, which x we've defined as a space, 
and then if we run that function we've said string a b and c and so the first output there is a space b space c so that's easy now here's an example of where you can overwrite the default value so in the second example here i've got string um, the values that i've put in are a b c i could put d e f doesn't matter how many and then i've said x is equal to and a dash so i'm overwriting the space and you can see the output down here is a uh, dash b dash c okay got it let's keep going now here's where things get super powerful you can use functions to actually process data and to do things uh, this is a very nice simple example to follow i've created a function called find the maximum value or find max value right i've said that it's a function and i'm only asking for one argument in this particular function and we're going to call that argument x you could call it anything open curly brackets so now we're going to tell the fun what tell r what to do and what, how it's going to use x and once we've opened curly brackets you can do just about anything and so what i'm doing here is i'm creating a variable called max value and again you could call that anything and i'm assigning to that this function and max is a function built into r uh, it's got an argument the, the first argument is x which is the thing that the people are you know putting in uh, and then i've said um in a, a remove so this x is going to be some sort of vector a whole lot of values and i'm saying remove any missing values um, and then paste uh this the highest value is comma put in max value which is this little uh new variable that we created and then i've said separate that with a space and if you look at what i've done here i've said use the function find max value that's the new function that we've created i've used the check weight data set that's built into r and the variable there within is weight so i've got a nice long vector of values and it said the highest value is 423. here's an example we use conditional logic uh, to make a decision based on the input criteria so we're creating a function here called check right we're saying that it's a function and into that function goes some sort of value and uh, in this case we're looking for some sort of vector um, now what happens is we open curly brackets we've said if else then we've said value so if else is a function we're saying if else so as it receives these the, the looks at the value within the vector it asks the question is that value more than 200 if it is more than 200 output a high if it's not in other words else uh, output a low close curly brackets here we've run check so that's the function that we've created again uh, check weights weight which is check weights is one of the data sets built into r weight is one of the variables there within and it goes through each of the values in that variable and decides if it's higher or lower than the value of 200 and there's the output now just replicate what i've done at home i've got all the annotations here you can look at this web page and how do you get to this web page well this and a whole lot of other similar web pages that i've created are available at learnmore365.com i'll put a link on the screen that you can click to to go here uh, you create a free account um, and then you go to the dashboard at the dashboard just click on free resources and you can click on any of the free resources and download them and of course if you become a member of the site then you also get access to any one of the many many courses that i've got that you can do i hope that was useful have a great day don't ever change don't do drugs always do your best speak to you soon take care bye